testing my new got one got a bought a pack of these little things for my GoPro microphone because I lost mine and uh, it, I had a homemade one that didn't seem to be working good this is my 1975 International 444 when I bought it I bought it at a tractor consignment store I wanted something with a dual disc clutch and power steering and there was a couple tractors there that fit the bill. There was a Ford 3000 diesel I wanted, but I really don't need a diesel because I don't use it enough. I was afraid the diesel fuel would gel up before I would use it. This thing's got a gas engine. It's about 40, 45 horsepower. It uh, does pretty good. International Harvester was owned by uh, Lucas Electrics in 75 in England. And uh, it has not, it doesn't have a fuse on it one. And it caught on fire the first day I bought it. Note the deluxe leaky gas pet cock, which makes sure that no gas gets left in it so that it can't go bad. And I've put a, uh, a uh, distributor cap on it and a coil. And I put a new carburetor. Uh, yeah, Zenith carburetor on it because it had a Lucas uh, electric choke carburetor on it, which didn't work. And uh, this thing don't really need a choke. I put a uh, General Motors one wire alternator on it. The uh, I don't know if you can see this, but it basically says the warning has a. Uh, negative ground which Lucas Electric who is famous for Triumphs had a positive ground they wanted to warn Americans and I'm sure lots of Americans were like what but uh, American vintage tractor guys don't really like this tractor because it was made in England it was assembled in Louisville so because he said it was made in America but uh, a lot of people get upset about it because it was made in England but it's a really dependable tractor and I got it really at a good price and I'm 100% I'm satisfied with it. Under all this grass, I need to dig it out and weed it around, is a McCormick Deering number no. 9 horse drawn mower. And this was owned by McCormick. It was manufactured by McCormick Deering, which later become McCormick became Farmall, McCormick Farmall, which became International Harvester. And of course, Deering became Deer. People get upset when I wear my John Deere ball cap with my uh, International Harvester, but they were once the same company. So I think, I think it's uh, kind of fitting.